Tomorrow, the town of Pendleton is getting police back on its streets after more than a decade without a department. Tonight, the new officers held a meet and greet before the big day. 7 News reporter Christine Brown was there as they introduced themselves to that community. It uh, just shows how much I care about the town they live in. With promises to fight crime like speeding and drugs, Monday the new Pendleton Police Department will officially be on the job. We're excited to be out patrolling, meeting our citizens and, and handling their problems and doing what we can do. It's a celebration so because none of us enjoy sitting behind a desk. All of us got in this job to serve people. The three officer department will bring years of experience as veterans of law enforcement to the town. They're going to know who's here, who's supposed to be here, who's not. And if they see someone that they think shouldn't be here, they're going to be paying closer attention to those kind of things. I think we can cut down the amount of crime we have here in a hurry. This will be the first police department Pendleton has had since 2004 when the town dissolved their last department. Sunday night they held a meet and greet to show the community their plans to make the streets safer and show off the new equipment they have to do it. And see what they have done in the past 10 months since I've been here, see what they have supported and uh, see their police department meet their officers. We want them to know who our police officers are and we want our police officers to know who they are. The police chief says they're not sure what to expect as they begin their patrols. Every day is different. You can go to 14 different uh, domestic violence. You can go to 14 different assault calls and each one of those are going to be different amongst themselves. So every day is different and there's no such thing as a routine call or a routine stop. Or, so we don't know. But they're ready to get to work. In Pendleton, Christine Brown, 7 News. The police chief says for now the department will still receive help from the Anderson County Sheriff's Office to patrol the town limits. Other news.